But, but what if an indication of foul play showed up day after tomorrow or, or next week? He'd be cremated and, and there'd be no body to do an autopsy on. I'm sorry, Miss Cavanaugh, but I can't run this office based on that sort of speculation. If I had to check out every conspiracy fantasy that came oh, across... Oh, no, no, this isn't a fantasy. She killed him. I'm sorry, but before I can stop this cremation, I need something tangible to go on. Here you go. Well, it wasn't any heart attack, I'll tell you that. I suppose you guessed that already, huh? Everybody thinks I'm being paranoid. Well, you're not, Jenny. You're not. She did something to him. What? I don't know exactly, but we're all sitting down to dinner, right? Me and Linda and Kevin. And Hank's upstairs in his room. And she says she's going to bring him up some soup. So she does, but she doesn't go. She doesn't go straight up. Yeah, I she makes some kind of detour. A detour? I, yeah, I, I couldn't see exactly what she was doing, but I could hear a door open and close. The only door in the kitchen is the pantry. Yeah. Exactly. You think she poisoned my father? <sighs> no, see, this isn't good enough. Commonwealth attorney's just gonna say she could have been getting a napkin or something. Look, all I'm saying is it wasn't any heart attack, Jenny. And maybe you should go and look in that pantry. You know what else? I think she was reading the will. Reading the will? Yeah. You know when I went back in there to get your keys? I go upstairs, there's her and Kevin, and she's looking at this piece of paper like it's the most important thing she's ever seen in her life. Now, I don't know what it could be except your father's will. I need you to give an affidavit to the Commonwealth attorney. I can't do that. Rick, we have to stop this cremation. If she killed him and there's no autopsy, that means she'll get away with it. I know, Jenny, but I can't. I'm sorry. I... Why not? Because if I do, there'll be questions, and there's, uh... There's one question that I can't answer. What question is that? Rick, you have to tell me what question. Uh... You ever betray your friend Hank Cavanaugh? You ever sleep with his wife? It's all right, Rick. No. It's okay. He knows you loved him. And now he needs you to tell the truth, okay? Will you? Ma'am? Thank you. The attorney is ordering an autopsy, ma'am. This is your doing. Yes. Is this what you want too, Monica? An autopsy? Is this what your sisters talked you into? Do you know what they're gonna do in an autopsy? They're gonna cut your father up in little pieces. Linda. Shut up, Ransom. I'm a nurse. Don't you think I know what they're gonna do? They're gonna cut him up in little pieces. something to prove, Jenny. Why don't you just come out and say it? It's going to be hard for me. It's going to be hard for all of us to realize that Hank Cavanaugh 
will not be walking into the Bell Fountain Village store every day for lunch. And he won't be singing too loud in our choir. Linda Cavanaugh has asked me to thank you all for your kind words and prayers. And even on this day of such personal sadness, she's insisted on fulfilling her duties as chalice during communion. No way in hell you're getting away with this, Kevin. I don't know what you're talking about, Rick. You think she's got any use for you? Huh? If you do, you're dumber than a pile of bricks, Kevin. She's gonna sell you out as soon as she gets the chance. Hey. Unless you sell her out first. Jenny, this is ridiculous. There is nothing here. Just keep looking. You know, sooner or later, you are going to have to grow up and realize that... What is it? We all love Tank. Thank you. Monica! I know how hard this must have been. Oh, this is ridiculous. Now you've got her thinking it too? <laughs> you know, Jenny, I don't know why people are so concerned with your drinking. Drunk or sober, you're in your own world all the same. Shut up. I guess your father's on the autopsy table by now, all cut up. It's a little strange, wasn't it, that his body wasn't at his own funeral? Stop talking that way. No, I'm in my own home, and I will talk however I want. This isn't your home. Yes, actually, it is, Jenny. Your father left everything to me. Didn't you know that? He wouldn't have. He loved us. Please leave. If you don't stop accusing me of things, one of these days, I might not invite you back. You're on my property. This place can be suffocating, you know? The way people expect you to behave. All this pride you're supposed to have in who you are and where you come from. I couldn't wait to get away. 
problem was, you could never figure out who I was when I wasn't here. You ever felt that way, Linda? No, I know who I am. All this heritage, all this history, all the photograph albums and the family pictures on the wall, my mother's ring. You took everything. I wanted it more than you did. Yeah. Not anymore. The autopsy report came back. My father died of an overdose of morphine. Well, that's surprising. I thought so too. That doesn't prove anything, Jenny. Well, not by itself. But don't forget the morphine in the pantry you stole from the hospice. I didn't steal anything. Your father needed that morphine for his back. I think you'll find he'd been taking it for months. Check that autopsy report. You say what you want. But I wouldn't count on Kevin backing you up. Seems like the kind of guy who'd cut a deal to me. I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you that I'm innocent. Why not? Don't you care what people think? You know, Janet, I really don't. And besides, that's what the trial's for. And when the trial's over, people will understand that Jenny is a manipulative, vindictive. I'm sorry. I don't mean to speak ill of anyone. But there's certain people, and well, they know who they are, that are going to have to live with their conscience if they even have one. Look, for me, this has been a tragedy, no question. But it's also been a learning experience, you know? It's been a journey of discovery. I see. And what have you discovered? That everybody has to start somewhere. That you have to fight to get what you want. You have to fight to keep it. I'm looking forward to the trial. I really am. You know why? I climbed all the way to the top of this hill. And I don't intend to let anyone drag me down from 